Yes, good night, good night, and welcome to the presentation tonight. Um, tonight, I think we're going to talk about blending plants. It's like a school of um, helping our people to understand how plants work. All right, come over here, son, son. Get the, the camera a little bit, organize a little bit. Here we go. All right, let's let the people like because we want to, I want you all to share this video. Mike Barnett, my brother, how are you doing tonight? Wonderful, I'm inviting you, my brother. Okay. I want you all to follow this program tonight. So I want the light to build up, and I want you all to share this program because we have lots of our people. Hi, Latia is dying from cancer. Karen Osborne, good night. Michelle, good night. Avis Child, good night. Blessed love to everybody. Wonderful. Make sure, bright them, bring them on camera. Yes. Um, we have, uh, Mike, 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 or the sister who had lung cancer and how she's still there living after a couple of years. They gave her six months to live. So if you're there, Mike, you are invited, okay? You could put them on the post what it is. You've been there. You've been, you've been in Grenada for over a month. Tell them how it is with the sister who came with you. Cancer can be repaired naturally. Hold on to the sun, son. Wonderful. Right, now, and tonight we're doing what we call a medicine, herbal medicine class again, like we did in New York. I'll be back in New York again Sunday. And don't forget, we have our, our, our tinctures on the website k r i s t y b w k s dot base we have 22 formulas and we have six or seven that is already there but we are still making sure that the others we are working on are, re are really potent to help our people because we don't want to sell products that don't work at all right wonderful but tonight we're going to talk about cancer blend what is the main herb what is the supporting herb? What is the assisting herb? Because when, when you are making a blend for cancer, you have to know where the cancer is at, number one. You have to know what herb should be your main herb. And you have to know what herb should be your supporting herb to support what the main herb is doing. And then you have to know what the assisting herb should be and how many portions of the assisting herb you should apply to the formula so tonight we're going to work we're going to work on a formula for shrinking tumors shrinking things and we're going to have the main herb the supporting herb and the assisting herb but we are going to tell you what these herbs do in each formula and what the compounds of the plants are. Wonderful. So we don't want to stay too long because it's going to be, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, what again, we're going to talk about, come center. We're going to talk about poultice. How you can put a poultice on a tumor, on a wart, arthritis pain, and make it go away naturally. We're going to show you how to make these poultice. So that if you put the poultice on places where the tumor is at, it can make the tumor brrr, drop out. And that's the key. So it is about herbal medicine class. And you all have a lot to learn still. Because first you must know how your body functions. You must know how the liver and all the other organs function. Okay, we're going to run for that. Let's go over here. Right? Right there we're going. Right there we're going. Don't touch. <laughs> tumor and cancer blend. Tumor and Cancer blend. You will leave it. All right. Now we're gonna to go to a herb called periwinkle. Periwinkle have eighty-eight chemicals, but two of the main chemicals are alkaloids in the plants. They took these two chemicals, all called vis vincristin and vinblastin. And they put it into a drug called cisplatin for cancer treatment. Now because these two plants here, these plants here have alkaloids, we know that some plants, alkaloids are very dangerous 
and can cause cancer. But because of the other 86 chemicals in this plant, it disrupts the function or the malfunction of these two chemicals that fight cancer with the side effects. And that's the reason why God is so great. Follow me now. So, periwinkle have 88 chemicals. But the two main chemicals for cancer is vincristin and vinblastin, and it works well for people who is suffering from Hodgkin's lymphoma and cancer of the lymphatic system. Even all kind of cancers too. But this is the most important cancer these two chemicals in this plant here works for. But because of the 86 more chemicals that this plant has, if there is a disruption or a side effect of the vincristin or the, or, the, or the vinblastin, these other chemicals will curb the side effects. And that's why plants are so significant. Learn about herbs. So this is the first herb you're going to use in the formula. The next one is the benefits of periwinkle is cancer, sore throat. So it's not only, it's not, it's not only good for cancer, it's good for water retention. It's good for inflammation. And when you have cancer, lots of people get inflammation too. It's good for vaginal discharge in women. So this herb called periwinkle, right here, is not only for cancer because the other 86 chemicals in the plant have other effects on the body in terms of urinary tract infection, urinary retention, sore throat, inflammation, and vaginal discharge. So it's not only a plant for cancer, it is used for other ailments of the body also. That's the benefits. Next one, red clover. The compounds in red clover is insoflavones, and the insoflavones are diacin and genistin. Now, I want you all to look at these two chemicals right here. One here, and this one here. These two chemicals, because this plant has anti-tumor activity, it also works on the skin because of the block blockening in the plant, the chemical motion in the camera center. And the, but the, these two chemicals here, diacin and genistin, hear what they do. They prevent your cancer tumor from creating blood vessels. And if your cancer tumor cannot create new blood vessels, your tumor cannot grow. No doctors could do that. And that's the reason why the medical system cannot repair cancer. They can only treat it because they don't know how to create or prevent angiogenesis. But they don't tell people that these two chemicals in the red clover plant does that by preventing the cancer cells from creating blood vessels so that your cancer cannot feed. Once these, blood, once these cancer cells cannot create blood vessels, the tumor is going to shrink. So we call it anti-tumor activity. This plant has that. Red clover does that. Works on the lymphatic system too. Don't forget the name of the, of the chemicals. Insoflavones. Diacin and genistin. And don't forget, these two insoflavones in this plant, the compounds that is, prevents your cancer tumor from creating blood vessels. In no way chemotherapy can prevent that, and in no way radiation can prevent that, and in no way surgery can prevent that. But the plants that Jehovah God put on this earth for us to use can prevent that. Prevent your cancer tumor from, or your cancer cells from creating more blood vessels so they can't feed, so they shrink. So we're gonna put that in the formula now. Red clover. Sheep sorrel. Sheep sorrel have compounds called crescentin, which is found in garlic and onions too, and emodin. And sheep sorrel is found in what we call the Isiac formula too. But it is good for cancer, it is good for diarrhea, and it is good for inflammation. Because once you have cancer, you are going to get irritation, and once you have irritation, you're going to get inflammation. So sheep sorrel is going to be the mix. Don't forget now, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the compounds of these plants to let you know what they do in your body when you have cancer, so they can fool you all. Podiaco. Podiaco have a chemical called eugenol, 
But polyacrylic is also anti antimicrobial, anti antiviral. It is also it also has tumor anti tumor activity. It is also good for diabetes. It is also good for ulcers. It is also good for yeast infection. It is also good for liver cancer. Liver cancer. It shrinks your tumors in your liver. It shrinks your tumor in your liver. Podiaco does that. But it is also antimicrobial. And it is also antiviral. Help to kill viruses. But it makes you feel you can kill nothing. Podiaco. We're going to put that in the mixture too. Next one. Chaparral. Chaparral has some alkaloids. They call them perilizidine alkaloids. And some plants have alkaloids that is good. And some plants have alkaloids that is bad. And some of the alkaloids, like perilizidine alkaloids that found in this particular plant, can be dangerous to the liver. It can cause you to have venioclusal disease, which is a cancer of your liver. But if you mix this plant with other plants, the other plants will cut down on the effect of this plant that is negative. You follow me? But it banned it though. You understand? So this plant is good for cancer, liver and the skin, and it shrink tumors. Chaparral does that. Look at the next one. Look at over here. Banana leaf. You all eat bananas? You all throw the skin away. You all eat the bananas, but you all don't go to the tree. The tree, leaf, the banana leaf, or the fig banana leaf. Because fig and banana is two different plants, but you have fig and banana mixed together too. Now the banana leaf, this one right here, look at right here. Now remember that the scriptures in Isaiah speaks about the banana leaf, or the fig leaf. It tells you that when you have a boil, on the body, you can use some poultice on the banana leaf and you can also put it on the boil or on the, on the cyst and it will shrink naturally. The banana leaf does that. But banana leaf in the olden days, if you're from the Caribbean, tell me I'm lying. Remember in the Caribbean in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, we used to have what we call conky. We used to take the banana leaf and take the conky and put a conky in the banana leaf and we fold it up and tie it with a string. Y'all did not know why the older people did this. The older people use the banana leaf for that because the banana leaf have antioxidants. They have compounds in the banana leaf. You can't chew the banana leaf though because it's very toxic um, with certain uh, um, uh, alkaloids. But when you wrap it, or your foods in there or your conky in there, it releases some of the good chemicals in the food. And it's good for cancer too. Banana leaf is good for that. Do not throw away your banana leaf. Compounds. The banana leaf have polyphenols. And the polyphenols in the banana leaf is an enzyme which promotes what we call l de dopa And they're using it now for what we call Parkinson's disease where you shake a lot. You all even know that. So we have lots of banana in the Caribbean. Lots of banana leaves in the Caribbean. We don't use them though. It's good for Parkinson's disease. This right here. Banana leaf, Parkinson's disease, because it have what you call polyphenols, good for cancer too. Wonderful. Next one. Now remember, we used to wrap the foods to release the enzymes from the banana leaf that fight what? That fight cancer. Remember the older people used to wrap their foods in the banana leaf like conky and tie it up to release the enzymes from the banana leaf to do what? To fight cancer. Hey, you already want to take chemotherapy and radiation and cutting your breast off. Taking off your whole gallbladder. Taking off your, take, remember, take, taking off your whole kidney. Removing your, whole, your appendix. Orange peel. Orange peel have a compound or compounds called limonene. And limonene, you can get oil from the orange peel too. Orange peel is good for what? Acid reflux. It's a cooling bitter for hypochlorhydria. Cancer, because it has anti-tumor activity. It also prevents your tumor from creating blood vessels, number one. And number two, the orange peel. This here, right here. Yellow one, not a green one, the yellow orange peel. The yellowness of your orange peel 
will do what? It will prevent your tumors, if they're cancerous, from moving or camouflaging and moving to form a colony elsewhere in the body. You understand? If you grind it up and put it in your foods, it's called citrus pectin. But it's good for cancer. It's good for dead cells. It's good for acne. Watch me now. Watch me now. Acne. Acne. Huh? All them blackheads on your face. Orange peel. Good for that. Acne. Anything with blackheads. The lemonin kills it. Dig it. You go. You know, cancer. Go over here. Dead cells. Acne. And it have anti-tumor activity. Don't forget now. Orange peel. Don't forget. Share the video. You won't have much like this again. Cloves. Cloves have a compound called eugenol. And if you look at some of the toothpaste, they have clothing toothpaste. And they have clothing lots of, lots of things out there that we don't even know about. Cloves have eugenol. And cloves treat toothache. It kills parasites. It kills fungies. It kills, it prevents inflammation. And it is antiviral. It has antiviral activity, meaning it works for herpes, HIV, megalovirus, hepatitis B, HTLV, all of them virus, HPV, all of them. And who put them on the, on the earth? Jehovah God. Yeah, Yahweh. He's the one that created all these plants for us to use. Because he knew for a fact. And parasites. So now we're going to go now to how we're going to mix them together for you. Let's go. Over here. Now remember we said before. That we're looking to. We're looking to have. The main herb, and we're looking to have what? Come over here, son, son. We're looking to have the main herb, and we're looking to have what? Come over here, son, son. The supporting herb. Don't forget now. You have to know when you're going to make a formula, which herb is going to be the main herb. You have to know how big the tumor is. You have to know where this tumor is located. And you have to also know, you have to also know the energy of the plants and the energy of the individual. That is significant. We in herbal medicine, if you're a good herbalist, we don't go and just pick some plants and use the plants. We have to look at the individual's energy and we have to use the plants also that correspond to the person's energy level. You see what I'm saying? And we talked about stimulation. We talked about tonification. So we talked about tonifying organs and we talked about stimulating organs. So if you, your energy is weak, you can never ever go into the body with plants and stimulate that organ. You're going to kill yourself. So you have to know the energy of the individual, the patient that is, and you have to know the energy of the plants before you can go using the plants as medicine. So here we go. If the person has cancer and they have a tumor in the brain, in the lung, in the liver, in the colon, in the gallbladder, huh? in the neck, hmm? we have to know how big the tumor is. Centimeters, that is. We have to know where the tumor is located. Left lobe of the liver, right lobe of the liver. We have to know if the tumor is in the transverse colon, in the ascendant colon, or the descendant colon, or the sigmoid colon. We have to know how big the tumor is in the kidney or in the bladder. And we have to know which herb should be the main herb and which herb should be the supporting plant. You have to know. So, over here now, right here, we're going to the main herb. Now, because periwinkle have some chemicals that shrink tumors, and because sheep sorrel also have anti-tumor activity over here, and because, shade over here, son, and because orange peel, have anti-tumor activity 
And because red clover have anti-tumor activity, we are going to go to these one. Come over here, son. Two, three, and red clover four as the main herb. Don't forget now. These are the main herb. Because these are the herbs that go in to shrink your tumor. These are the herbs that is going in to prevent your tumor from creating blood vessels, hmm? preventing angiogenesis. See what I'm saying? So you have to know. All right. And that's the reason why when you go to the doctor, he give you chemotherapy. Chemo kill good cells, kill bad cells. But the, the, but, but the cancer come back. Why the cancer come back? Because you did not go to the cause of your cancer in the first place. And you go back into the same environment, you do the same thing. So you can never go back into the same environment, eating the same foods, doing the same things, otherwise your cancer won't come back. Don't forget that now. So this is the main herb, don't forget. Periwinkum is the main herb. Sheep sorrel is the main herb. Red clover is the main herb. And orange peel is the main herb. Right? So we're gonna put them in a bag. Don't forget now, I want to teach you all to use plants. Nobody can come and tie you all up. So a lot of a lot of a lot of tired people outside there now. Alright, we're going over here. Right over here. Boom. Shake them up. Now we're going to that the supporting herb now. Look at them here. Podiaco. Because Podiaco have shrinking ability also we don't want to make it the main herb because of the usual content so we are going to make it the supporting herb you understand so we're going to take some pondic and we're going to make it into the supporting herb now because cloves also have eugenol but cloves also have antiviral and antibacterial activity and sometimes when you have cancer especially of the lymph system from HTLV virus, we can help the cloves. We can put the cloves in as the supporting herb to do what? To kill the virus or in the cancer cells. Don't forget that. You all have to learn them things, man. Don't let them don't let the people fool you all every day. So these, this two herb here and this one over here is what? Is your supporting herb. Don't forget that now. So we're going to put them, we're going to move this one away for the time being because we have to grind them up. So we're going to take the cloves over here. And we're going to put the cloves in here. So what the cloves is doing? The cloves is also parasitic, antiparasitic. And lots of people who have cancer have parasites. Lots of people who have cancer have yeast and fungi floating around. And that's the reason why this should be such a supporting plant. We're going to go back to the, to the balloon flower. Back to down. We're going to tell you what they do. Assisting plants. Don't forget now. We're going to teach you all how to use plants. Nobody can fool you. And we're going to come back over here. And we're going to go to the podiaco. And we're going to put them in there as the supporting herb. Don't forget now. Now. So we have in here. Main herb. Could go by parts, six parts, eight parts, ten parts, four parts, or six parts supporting, ten parts main herb. So you have the main herb and you have the supporting herb in here. So the supporting herb is supporting what the main herb is doing, but it is also working on inflammation and it is also working on fungi and parasites and viruses at the same time. Follow me. Follow me now. Now. We're going, we're going a little further now. We're going to the assistant herb. Dandelion root. Chaparral. Now, because chaparral have lots of pearlizidine alkaloids, we don't want to make it the supporting herb, although it shrink things too. We don't want to make it the supporting herb because it has a few side effects. It can cause you to have trouble in your liver. So we want to make it the assisting herb, not the supporting herb, not the main herb. So that you, the patient, do not get the side effect of the chaparral. You follow me? Then we have dandelion root, which helps to get rid of 
environmental toxins via your liver, especially if you have liver cancer, and also help your liver to produce more bile to be dumped in your intestines so you can have waste moving from the sewage system. So these are the two herbs we're going to put as the assistant herb. Here we go. We're going to put them in here. So we have, we have a, so we have main herb, we have supporting herb, and we have assistant plants. So the plants that assist, they are now assisting. It's like a police officer. He's alone, and he wanna, he's trying to arrest a criminal, and the criminal is fighting. He's going to call for backup, and when the backup comes, they come to assist him in arresting the criminal. You follow me? So these plants go in to the body and they assist the main herb to conquer the tumor or shrink the cyst or kill the cancer cell. By doing what? By, 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 by preventing angiogenesis. Let's go again. We go into this one over here. Marigold or calendula. Have a lot of lutein for the eyes too. And we go into another one called burdock root. And burdock root is for when you have skin cancer. You understand what burdock root is very important for the lymphatic system too. So we're going to do what? Call, put them together and have them as the assisting herb because marigold is also antifungal and anti-parasitic too. Put them in there. And we go. And we shake them up. So we have main herb, supporting herb, assisting herb. They all do different things. See what I'm saying? But the function that they have is to make the body well. Liver, brain, lung, intestines, hmm? gallbladder, kidney, hmm? heart, blood, move things. Come again now. We're going to these here. Danqui and also balloon herb root. They assist. Now this herb is important in for the lung. So if you have cancer in your lung, I would make this herb called balloon herb the main herb because it's more work in the lung. This herb, if the woman have ovarian cancer or she have uterine cancer. I will make this herb down quick the main herb because it moves things. It moves things out of the body. It also helps the body to remove excessive amount of estrogen via the woman's liver so that she don't have what we call a recycling estrogen coming back to her portal vessel, causing her receptors to mm, accept the estrogen to escalate her breast cancer. You follow me? It moves things. And if you have a weak heart, it strengthens the heart muscle for, heart, for what you call congestive heart failure. So these are what we call the system plant. You're going to put them in a bag and you're going to boil them. See? That's how you do it now. You have to learn. Teach you all every day to use plants. You want me to make you feel like hope you're not good. See? So now, different. Bats, boy, sing, flowers, float, you understand, leaves, float, but you can mix the, 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 some of the, the, the roots that not like the box in here, but you can't put the box in there, you have to boil the box, and then after you boil the box, you're going to put these inside here, we're going to teach you all, one teaspoon to a cup of hot water, you are going to cover it for five minutes and you're going to strain it and drink three to four cups per day and you must change your diet. You can't live in the same environment that gave you the cancer in the first place. It will come back. You see what I'm saying? Yeah? So these are what we call a cancer blend. And there are much more plants we can use for cancer treatment. There's only a few of them. A few of them. But I'm going to teach you the basics so that you can go into your house 
and accumulate these plants and use them on a regular basis, not only for cancer treatment, but also to prevent cancer, to prevent diseases. Because no tumor can grow in your body taking these plants together. They have anti-tumor activity. They can't make nothing will grow in your body, period, in the brain either. But you must keep the bloodstream clean because the blood is your life. So if you want to shrink any tumor anywhere in the brain, any part of the body, in your liver, in your lung, you must keep the bloodstream clean. And you must prevent the cancer tumors from creating blood vessels. And that is what the medical system don't know yet. How to prevent that. How to prevent the cancer to go back to the resting place where it came from. They don't know that yet. And that's the reason why they only treat you with chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. Follow me. And you still die long term. Here we go. Let's go to the poultice now. Cancer poultice. Over here, son, son. See we blend? Let's go over here. See that? See this, son, son. See that? See that? Yeah, man. Yeah, see that? That's it. That's what I do every day. Watch me now. Hmm? You can't get cancer. Not with that. Follow me. Now, this is coconut oil. Yeah? Coconut oil. So when we're going to make a poultice, we're looking for herbs that have anti-inflammatory effect, but also have chemicals that go in, like ginger oil, and go in and help to prevent the inflammation. External, not internal, external. We just use the internal plants that work for inflammation also, but now we go in external to release the inflammation from the body. Although, inflammation is not a bad thing. You going? Yeah. Keep it over there, son. All right, my spoon washed up. There we go. The first herb, and we have to know which is the main herb in the poultice. Talk about what you're doing. Come over here, son, come over here. Now we know that we call this herb in Grenada saffron. But this is not saffron. Saffron is a whole other plant. Have similar effect to turmeric, but it's not the same herb. Just like fennel seed and anise seed. Similar plants do similar things, but the fennel seed is more effective than the anise seed. So the turmeric is more effective than the saffron. But they call this plant over here saffron, but it's not saffron, it's turmeric. You're going to take one half a teaspoon of the turmeric and we're going to throw it in the coconut oil you can use oregano oil you can use peppermint oil you can use peppermint oil you can use myrrh oil because myrrh oil have lots of anti-tumor activity you can use bentonite clay too right half a teaspoon and then this is what so where is it done? ginger Ginger come in different forms. You can grind the ginger also. Ginger is good for arthritis. It's good for inflammation too. Although it's hot. So we're going to put ginger as the main herb. Because ginger moves things too. One teaspoon. In the mixture. Then we're going to cinnamon. And cinnamon have also huge and all. But cinnamon is very significant for the small capillaries. And cinnamon also works on the pancreas. It helps the beta cell to utilize your insulin well too. But it moves the blood. Move things. So we're going to put this as the main one. Again, show this inside there. Yeah. And then we're going to shake it up. Now you can shake it as much as you can. And you can make it as thick as you can too. And then we do some of these. If, if, you, if you have arthritis now. Arthritis. Or if you have a tumor. You're not going to put this here. But if it's half at the right, you're going to drop a few drops of this in here. Now, when you make the poultice, you're going to stir the poultice. Yeah? And if you have a boil or an abscess, you're going to take some of the poultice. You're going to drop it on the banana leaf. Spread it on the banana leaf, just like that. Yeah? 
or you can spread it on a potato leaf. See that? And here. Spread it. Spread it out. Or you can make it thicker than that if you like. If you want it to be thick, you can make it thick. And you can take this poultice, yeah? And you can drop it on, if you have cancer of the lymphatic system and it's affecting your, your groin. If you have lumps in your groin, you have lumps in your neck, and you have the lymphatic system is not moving well, we can use plants to drain the lymphatic system. But if you have big legs and it's not a swell, you can use a poultice with all these plants with bentonite clay and myrrh powder and frankincense powder. That's what they're for. And drop it on the swelling area or on the boil, right on the boil, disappears. Bust the boil too. Yeah? Number two. This one over here. Now, if you have arthritis now, woo! Chipova is great, man. If you have arthritis, osteo or rheumatoid arthritis, we are going to use the same mixture, but now we're going to drop some of these. Yeah? In here? One, two, about ten drops. Shake it up and there are about ten drops in there. Yeah? And then you're going to put a little bit more off now your turmeric. And we're going to put a little bit more off your ginger. And now we're going to make it a little bit more thick because we have arthritis now. And you can put it right over here on the cabbage leaf. On your cabbage leaf, you spread it on your cabbage leaf as thick as you can. On your cabbage leaf and always put it on your joints, on your knee. You tape it down on your knee and the next morning your pain disappears, so then it's gone too. But you can make it a little thicker than this and that is for arthritis. With this here. Not arthritis, it's for boils. You understand? Now, coming to the next part. When you have warts from... The human papilloma virus. See that here? You go to the sea. You go to the sea. Watch me now. You remove the salt from the sea moss. Or you can get some sand. The wet sand and salt in the sand. And you can take the salt out of the sea moss. And put it in a plate like that over there. And if you have a wart, anywhere of the body, any part of the body you have a wart, wart from, from herpes, you take the salt, and you put the salt on the wart, on the banana skin, the rock salt is a little better too. Yeah? Put it away. What's going on? If you have the wart, any part of the body, in your lip, Hmm? On your jaw, in your hands, you take the banana. If somebody put the banana there, you put a, you could put the salt on first. If you have it, the water right over here, you take the banana, and the ripe of the banana is better for you too. Don't throw away the skin; you must blend the skin up too. You put it on the wart, and you bang it down on the wart, bang it on the wart. In about one to three to four days, the wart drops off. God is great. You had the wart from HPV. Because the HPV virus give you warts too. You see what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So when you put the banana skin on, you take a little tape, you tape it down. In about one, you change it every day. In one week, that wart disappears, drops off. Internal with antiviral plants. So you see there's cure for everything on the earth. You can fix yourself. You understand? Wait a minute. Wait here, sir. Almost done now. Now, when you're using these herbs, this herb right here, what you can do also, you can use a little fire. See that? And you can heat it up. See? You can heat it up a little bit. A little fire, heat it up. See? See? See what's going on? See? He's going to curve. 
Hit them up. See? Ah, there you go. I'm teaching you all something new tonight. Hit <laughs> it. You understand? Hit them up. See? It curves up. See? See curves? Curves. Yeah. And you put them on. You put them on. You put them on the board or the joints. The curves. Heat them up. Make them into a paste. Heat them up. Heat them up. See? Watch him here. See? There we go. See? There we go. See? There we go. Heat them up. And you heat them, put them on the joints. Put them on your board. Disappears. Gone. Dig it. Hey. And then, what you gonna do? You gonna come? Sorry, don't forget. Once you have cancer, your HB drops. No doctor could do that. Once you have cancer, your HB drops, especially leukemia. When you have thrombocytopenia, a pain, what they call it, big name they give it all, anyway, your platelets drop. Once you have cancer, anyway, breast cancer, prostate cancer, lymphoma, your HB drops. So what we do, when we use the plant to shrink the tumors now, we are looking at your bone marrow, we're looking at the thymus gland, we're looking at the spleen, we're looking at the lymphatic system, four parts of the body, that is your protectors and your healers. And we're going to build the blood, because now your spleen makes the blood, and your liver stores the blood. So we're going to go right over here. See some sorrow? And we can mix the soil with Romania and we can mix the soil with coconut water or beets or black grapes. Huh? Get over here. We have everything in the house right here. See them over here? You can mix the soil with Romania, works on the kidney, bone marrow, spleen. And you can mix them together, blend in a blender with some coconut water right here. Yeah, and some red beets, and some black strap molasses, and some black bread for the seed, and some Romania, and you have your herbs, and you drink. No sugar. That's why you need to have too much diabetes. You want to use too much sugars. You like sweet things, and your pro greens, and you drink. Every day, three to four cups per day, and you build back up your HB, build back the bone marrow, build back the lymphatic system, build back up the blood, and help your liver to absorb the iron, and your iron can never drop. So you have cancer, HB dropping, you do that for me with your plants, and you come out of the environment that you've been living in for so long that gave you the cancer in the first place, and you will see your body will respond to what you are doing because you have to go back to the earth for your cues but that's where you from from the earth and that's where you go when you die so if you are fixing anything from your body you must go back to the earth for your cures but that's where all the cures at that's where Jehovah God put all the cures in the earth from the leaves of the trees to the roots to the box for us to use for healing. Forget now. Blessed night and don't forget to give thanks and praise to the Most High Jehovah God and don't forget to give thanks and praise to the Christ. And don't give no man no praise and don't give no man no glory because all the glory belongs to Jehovah God who is the ultimate healer of all things. I don't care what atheists say. All them atheists. I don't care what you all say. He's the greatest and the healer of all things. He's the best scientist the best doctor, the best father, the best mother, everything to me. And give him all the glory. And don't forget to go to K-R-I-S-T-Y-B-W-K-S.BizChristy Books. And then we have our circulation blend. We have a colon flu blend. We have a daily detox blend. We have a um, uh, fibroid blend and a prostate cancer blend and a liver and skin blend. And we have a, we have a diabetic blend coming up, coming up next week. We have a 
uh, on the active thyroid blend, we have a heart blend, we have a herpes blend, we have a HIV blend, we have a cancer blend, we have, a, we have everything. You know what I mean? We have brain support blend. I mean, we're going to come out with everything in a couple of weeks, and I'll be running to New York for a couple of days, and we Sunday and come back about Wednesday or Thursday because we are promoting our stuff, and we want, to, we want the support from our brothers and our sisters, black people, rise from your sleepless slumber and support what you have. And don't let no one come into your community and take your thing and get out. Because your community will become poorer and poorer while they become richer and richer. So get rid of the self-hate that we have and always look up to the motherland because that is where everything is from and that is where we all have to go eventually, to the motherland. Africa, Hebrew Israelites, bless and love and give thanks and praise to the Mosai. The number is 41473-421-9604. Want to make an appointment or 718-469-0985 ask for a shanty or k-r-i-s-t-y b-w-k-s dot b-i-z for a consultation or to buy our product that is just coming out you're going to help the poor bless and love give thanks everybody have a nice night don't forget black people love one another uplift yourself uplift your community you know what i mean don't let nobody come back into your community and take what you have. The unity. Find to find some unity, brother and sister. Don't forget that. In the name of the Most High Jehovah God, good night. Blessed love to everybody. And our retreat. Um, our retreat is going to start on the 20th of the, no, sorry, the 1st of June to the 13th of June. Um, we're going to have a number, you can, see, you, you can call the center for a retreat. We're going to have Dr. Sebastian Peters. We're going to have Dr. Uh, Daigo Humphrey. We're going to have the, Dr. Dr. St uh, St uh, Stephanie Fritz from Denmark. And we're going to have a colon, a colon therapist and a herbalist coming in to, um, to, um, to do our presentation in Greenville. Okay, don't forget, 2020, June 1st to June 13th. Bless and love to everybody. And don't forget to leave your weapons at home and love your neighbor as yourself. Give thanks. Bless it.